with skincare. I went to um, my Macy's and picked up Origins. Uh, I got the Origins A Perfect World Age Defense Skin Guardian with White Tea. This is what I put it on the back of my hand and I started rubbing it in. I was kind of like, ooh, I don't know if I like that too much because it felt a little bit oily. Um, and it didn't seem to sink into the skin until I gave it a, a minute or two to, after you give it a chance to really work its magic and get into the pores, it leaves this really nice and a smooth texture, which next to Origins, a perfect world for eyes. This is a firming moisturizing treatment with white tea, yeah, and this leaves that kind of nice, kind of smooth texture to the skin that, uh, you don't want to have any dryness going on when you put on makeup, especially around the eye area. But you So, to sum it up, this is basically just a kind of a uh, age-fighting kind of duo. Again, I'm going to use my Physician's Formula. This is Moisture Balance Ultra Hydrating Day and Night Cream. My new favorite moisturizer. It has not made me break out. It does not have an SPF in it, so that's why I like using it at night. But I'm going to use Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. Semi new product is Anastasia Brow Wiz in Ash, Medium Ash. Alright, and then give those a nice comb through. Thing has had time to set in, so I'm going to move on to foundation. I'm going to use my Perfection Lumiere by Chanel. This is in the color 10 beige. This foundation can get pretty full coverage, so you have to be very careful when building it. Uh, the more you kind of do that pouncing motion, with, especially with a brush like this, you're going to get fuller coverage with it. Alright, so after this, I'm going to, pretty much, I have a flat base at this point. Next, I'm going to go to concealer. Estee Lauder Double Wear in number 10, Extra Light. I want to conceal. Into the skin, so it gives much fuller coverage. And rather than, you know, wiping it back and forth, that really doesn't do anything. I'll do it a little bit around the nose because I don't have major redness there, but um, areas that you want to really hide, just keep patting up and down, up and down. Alright, new product. This is L'Oreal Magic Lumi. It says concealer, but it's not. It's more of a highlighting pen. Um, there's not enough pigmentation in this to really conceal any sort of... I found with this product, after blending it, then going over and tapping it in with your finger, the warmth helps to blend it in a little bit better. So, MAC blush. This is Pink Swoon. And it's very pigmented, so you have to be really careful of how much you use. I'm using an Eco Tools flat brush and I'm pouncing this onto the skin again to create the color impact of where I want it. I find if I apply blush and just kind of go around and around and around, I don't get the placement where I want. I'd rather pack it on. Okay, now I look like a clown, but it's fine. Don't panic. And brush and Start by blending the outside lines. Now after you've done that, then on the deepest part of the color, just start to really buff that powder into the skin. Now if you noticed, I never powdered my skin. You can use a powder blush over a liquid foundation without setting it first, as long as it's kind of a demi-matte finish which Chanel, uh, Chanel, uh, which Lumiere is that? Perfection Lumiere. 
of Chanel Perfection Lumiere is. This look is all about the blush, so I'm not trying to be very subtle with it. I'm going to go back in, apply some more, and then going ahead and blending it back out. Now this is how you're going to get a blush to stay all day. If you're one of those type of people that, um, especially if you're, you have oily skin, if you apply blush and within an hour or two it disappears, you really have to like sandwich it on top of each other. Put it up. Now, just to make sure that this is really nice and neat, I don't want it where the blush is first applied, to make sure it's really gradiated nicely. I'm going to use my Chanel Intense Admittable Noir. This is just a tester that I picked up. The ladies at the uh, Chanel counter really, really like me. They're always giving me testers of stuff. New product is from The Balm, Mary Luminizer. You may recognize this. I got this from Hope Book. A really good deal. It's a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. You don't feel like paying. I think it's about $20. If you could have a Walmart and they carry hard candy, they have a highlighter that looks very similar. Tiki is a bit more golden. It's the swatch here. There it is. Cheap bone. From Revlon, three color in one. So you have a kind of a more orange bronzer, a very dark one that could be used as a contour, and then kind of a medium one. Yeah. I'm going to tap this off on the back of my hand because sometimes bronzers, because I am so fair, can go bad very quickly. And if you're going to bronze, make sure you do your neck. It's by Edward Bess. It's a, the Quad Royale in South of France, number one. It's a highlighter. And it has four different colors in it. Very chic. It reminds me of kind of Chanel packaging, which that's what the color looks like. Uh, it's kind of a, it ha it's a very pink highlighter. It's definitely pink. This is probably going to clash with the Mary Luminizer I have on, but I'm going to show it in a tutorial. I might as well use it. From Tarina Tarantino, Dull Skin Cream Blush Duos. This is what it looks like. It's a very, very, very hot pink cream blush. I'm not too keen on the sparkly white dust that's next to it. It's just more glitter chunk and um, it's like just gross. <laughs> um, the cream blush is really nice. It's very pigmented. Let's see right there. This I got from Revlon, which a peach, kind of a light peach color. Um, this is a very vibrant red. Um, think of NARS Exhibit A, but with more orange, which is very, very close to the Tarantino one. So if you can't get this, run out to your local CVS. Um, last thing, exciting thing, yay! I know that was so cheesy, but I just couldn't help it. Chanel little bag, which I don't care about the bag. I could give two flips about it. Powder Signe de Chanel Powder Illuminator. This is, look at that. Pretty, pretty. It's a very beautiful golden highlighter. I have all the, there it is. It's so beautiful. I'm just so happy to have this. So I'll put some pictures up of these products so you guys can see them. So this is my makeup for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and the new products and I will talk to you later. Bye.